Tonight we're starting the tear down of my latest acquisition. This is a 2011 Hyundai Genesis Coupe. It's a two liter turbo, six speed manual. Got this one at Copart here in Boise. Well, it's in Boise, I am in East Idaho. But I bought this, it had low miles on it and the wreck looked to be pretty cosmetic from what I could tell from pictures and not seeing it in person. But this is kind of how it showed up. I have already removed the shattered front bumper. Two pieces there. And looking over the car before driving it to my house, I noticed I needed some things to order. So I ordered a radiator. As you can see, this one is slightly moved in. I ordered a cooling fan. And I ordered a coolant reservoir and I already removed it, but if you look right there, the alternator pulley uh, was broken and shredded and shredded the belt. So I ordered a pulley and I ordered the serpentine belt. Some of the things have shown up. Uh, this is the belt and the coolant reservoir. This is the cooling fan. Tomorrow the radiator is supposed to be here. But I started, I figured I'd start tearing it down tonight in preparation for that because with a radiator in it and the belts on, technically it should be drivable. Oh, and I ordered the alternator pulley from my local Hyundai dealership. And let's see the damage. It, to me, it looks like if you take a close look. There's a lot of hair in here. I think they hit an animal of some sort. Don't know how it only did this much damage. It didn't hit the windshield. The hood is ruined, but that's about all I can tell so far. The other headlight cosmetically looks good. Just the, the tabs broke on it, which are here and here. Might be able to glue them, might not. We'll see when we get there, but I'm gonna start with removing the AC condenser and the radiator, and we'll kind of see the damage there. So from what I can tell, I'm gonna undo these two bolts here, which hold the bracket. This one I'd already popped out of it, but I will undo these as well. They look, yeah, they're 10 millimeter. So you got two here two here and then undo the top coolant hose and then the bottom coolant hose I think is on this side yeah right down there you can see it right down there sorry focus on my finger but it's down there on that side we're gonna undo some of these clips here for the cooling fan we'll see if we can get it slid out and uh, assess any more damage that might be there I live to rap, my flow stay constipated because I don't give a crap But I stay spitting that stinky, is that your verse or are we smelling Amber Rose's pinky? Oh man, I wish I was a little skinnier And I wish my money stayed linear, what does that mean? I got two dreams, like Martin Luther sleeping All I want is a tennis court and be best friends with Jay Biebs, yo That's all I've ever wanted And once I get it, I'ma flaunt it I pulled these two bolts and the mount off this side. I pulled these two bolts, and the mount off of this side. Now, if you're doing this to do like an aftermarket upgrade and you actually care about your AC, um, you need to, there's this bolt here, let's see. It's right here, it's a 10 millimeter, but it, it feeds through on the back side down here. So you gotta get in here with a 10 millimeter to undo that which will disconnect it from the AC condenser. You have one on each side. See that little bracket right? Hard to see it, but it's right here. Where my finger is. So you have one of those on each side, and then um, to get the cooling fan out, you have a 10 millimeter bolt here, a 10 millimeter bolt 
here. Mine's broke, so it's still there. And then uh, you have one fan connector, and it should just pull out from what I can tell. I don't think anything else was broke. But on these uh, these two liters, instead of the, the V6, the 3.8, on the uh, radiator, you have two more bolts down here. It's bolted to the intercooler. So you got one here and one here on each side. 10, 10 millimeter bolts. So I pulled the two out on this side. I'm going to do the two on the other side. And the, uh, the radiator should be free. But this bottom radiator hose looks to be a bear because whoever put it on didn't really leave much room to get any sort of pliers on that clamp. So we'll see what we can do with that. But I'll pull the two bolts on this side. And maybe I can move it out a little bit to get some pliers on that. My rhymes are parkour like Jabari and Tony. My rhymes are hardcore like bareback and a pony. Speaking of bareback and... Why you pouting? Did you just take it like Jake and broke back mountain? Spray you in the face like a water fountain. It's a cruel world, but I'm an accountant. So I got a tax shelter as big as is. I wasn't able to get that clamp off. So I took that one off. But in order to get that off, I had to pull my intercooler piping off. Not the best design, but whatever. It's off. So we got radiator out. AC condenser out. I had a hole in it, otherwise I probably would have kept it or evacuated it properly, but it was ruined. So here's a look at the uh, intercooler. Appears to be fine. The only damage I saw was it looked like it might have been dented right back here where it hit the alter. Oh, sorry. Right where it hit the alternator. Not sure if that's enough to worry about might check it for boost leaks when we get there I was just looking at the placement of this intercooler it looks pretty terrible looks like a lot of it's just blocked off by things in the front seems like they could have thought that through a little bit better oh well we will run it for now unless we find something wrong with it kind of just want to get this car on the road and drive it and see if I like it if you haven't noticed, I tend to go through a lot of cars, so I've yet to find one that just blows me away and makes me want to keep it. So until then, we will keep going. So as of now, I don't have the radiator in. That'll be tomorrow. Um, I might just look at pulling some of this out. It seems to be pretty flimsy material. I pulled this out by hand because it was jammed in back to where that condenser was and I was able to pull that out just by hand so it's pretty flimsy. I'm thinking that this will be similar. Yeah. Not real structural. That was pretty easy to do. More just I think supportive for the headlight and accessories. But made progress. Hopefully tomorrow we'll have the radiator here, the pulley for the alternator. Kind of important. I'll have to check with the dealership tomorrow and see if that came in. And that should do it for now. I think that's all I can do. All my parts have officially come in. I got my alternator pulley. Uh, yeah, alternator pulley. That's the part number if anyone else needs one. Um, it's going to go right here. I got the nut for it, and I'm pretty sure that's all I need. Um, last night when I was bored, I unboxed everything. Got the radiator out. Looks good. And I mounted the coolant fan to it along with the coolant overflow. I'm missing the top. I guess that doesn't come with it. So I'll, hopefully my old one has it. But yeah. Two screws mount it to the uh, 
radiator itself, there's one here on this side. And then there's one here on this side. Right there. That's all there is. And on the bottom it has two tabs that slide in on either side. One there. One there. If you're ever trying to remove it, it just slides into those two. And then the two nuts at the top. And uh, that's it. To take the cooling fan out. And then the one electrical plug. But I'm going to see if I can get this alternator pulley on. See how big of a pain that will be to do. Don't imagine it being too difficult, but we'll try to get it on there and see how it goes. Probably figure out what size that is before I get it on there. It is a uh, 24 millimeter. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to uh, get an Allen in the center of that so I can hold it while I tighten the pulley on. Which might make it difficult because I don't know how I'm gonna get a wrench on there as well. It looks to be about a seven. What are these? These aren't towards. Seven millimeter Allen or seven. Looks like it'll do the trick. That whole thing is pretty scary. Fingers crossed that she really is Katy Perry. Switch it up. Like that. Now I need to figure out the built routing diagram. Google it real quick. Uh, if we look down, let's see, right there is the tensioner that we'll be adjusting to get the belt on and uh, hopefully it goes smooth and hopefully they set me the right one looks like a 17 maybe Seventeen. Let's get this belt on there. Just like that. Serpentine belt is on. Probably do an oil change on this while I'm at it. Just so I know it's fresh. So we'll have fresh coolant, fresh oil. And we'll give her a start. That whole situation went from zero to a hundred real quick. Quinn McGregor killed it. Last name Taylor, first name ain't drill bit. My coattails is your meal tick, yo. Welcome to my field trip. I'm a punchline spitter, crunch time hitter. Call me Barry Bonds up in this hole. My head keep getting bigger. You can find me online playing GTA B with my Idaho potatoes all covered up in that gravy. About to move up like you know I'm dominating JV. Let my junk breathe. Roll Commando Stephen A. Got the full strength antifreeze, mixed it up into two gallons. That's up there's no leaks. M.A.M. Damn it, I'm mad. Palindrome. Laughing to the bank like it's next to Jimmy Fallon's home. I'm an old ass rookie. Call me Jose Calderon. Yo, don't ever question where my talent's from. My girl's a better baller than you. 
My girl's a foot taller than you. You Kevin Hart hiding Santa's helper looking ho. You spitting midgets at progressive. A four foot flow. You got weak bars and knee scars. All right, next thing we're gonna do while coolant kind of settles down, we're gonna change the oil just so we know there's a fresh oil change in it and she's ready to roll. So I'm gonna lift her up and crawl under there and see if we can get the oil changed. Now these, I looked up in the so owner's manual, uh, six quarts, 5W20. So I bought some synthetic 5W20 and uh, we'll get her drained out and new stuff put in. Drain plug, 17 millimeter. I gotta grab my drain pin though. I guess I can show you. Anyone that's never changed their own oil on their Genesis or curious how hard it is, I'll give you a hint. It is not hard at all. Let's grab a light. I'll crawl under here. Well, I'm crawling under the passenger side front. If you look right there, that is the drain plug. So that's about a foot from the front. 17 millimeter. I cracked it loose. Let's see. Like that, Just let her all drain out. If you look close from the top, you can see the oil filter is right there. If it'll focus, so it's right down by where the drain plug is. So if you go under the same side, you see it right there. I'm gonna try that. Yeah, there's an access port right here, or not port, the area. So I'm gonna put the drain plug back in, once the oil is out, and then uh, I'll try to get to the oil filter. Hopefully, it's not cinched on there super tight. I'm just reaching up right here and I can reach it. Oh, that's pretty tight. All right, I had to use a filter wrench, this guy right here, to break it loose because whoever put it on there put it on there with an impact or something. But once it's broke loose, I should just be able to spin it off. the new one on in its place and be done. Well, fill it up with oil too, don't forget that. Service manual says six quarts, so six quarts she'll get. Oil's good, coolant's good, no leaks. So I'm gonna fire it back up, let it warm up for a bit, keep putting coolant in, 
and go from there. Welcome to my mixtape. I'm making this for my little brother for Christmas. Y'all are welcome to listen along, but I will warn you, it is weird. Enjoy the ride. Yo. I'm like piss, you can't stop me once I started when I'm on the dance floor. You know I go full retarded, I'm the captain now. This beat is my boat, so before I spit it, yo, let me clear my throat. <clears throat> I'm hiding in corners where no one can see me Like you got one eye and I am in 3D I'm balling so hard you can find me on Wheaties While y'all balling hard but more like Scalabrini You swim in cold water, your weenie so teeny My heart cold like James Gandolfini I'm soft and I'm white, you can call me a Kleenex While y'all walking dead, yeah